Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So here we are discussing the question on Hello 2024 on code forces. So our first question is wallet exchange. The problem states that Alice and Bob are bored, so they decide to play a game with their wallets. Alice has A coins in her wallet while Bob has B coins in his wallet. Both players take turns playing with Alice making the first move. In each turn, the player will perform the following steps in order. Choose to exchange wallets with their opponent or to keep their current wallets. Remove one coin from player's current wallet. The current wallet cannot have zero coins before performing this step. The player who cannot make a valid move on return loses. If both Alice and Bob play optimally determined who will win the game. So here the input is T the number of test cases and then we have two integers A and B where A denotes the number of coin Alice wallet have and B denotes Bob's wallet coins. So we need to output Alice if Alice will win the game and Bob if Bob will win the game. So let's see the test cases to understand in a more proper way. So in the first case Alice has one coin in his wallet and Bob also has one coin. So Alice chooses not to swap wallets because they are equal. So it becomes if they are not swapping then what is the case? First check here. Remove one coin from the player's current wallet. Okay. So we remove one coin from Alice wallet. So it becomes zero one. Now since Alice wallet is empty, Bob cannot choose to uh, will not choose to swap because he wants to win. So from his wallet also coin is removed. So it becomes zero zero. Now since both wallet are empty and it's Alice's turn, Alice can't make a move. So Bob wins the game. Now in case of one four. If you take one four, <coughs> so in this case, as Bob has more number of coins, so Alice would like to swap. So after swapping, also we need to subtract one. So Alice is left with three, Bob is left with one. Now again, Bob will swap because Alice is having more. So it becomes 1, 3 and if you subtract 1 from here, it becomes 1, 2. Now, if Alice chooses to swap, it will be 2, 1 and again they will be left with 1, 1. So because of this 1, 1 situation, as we have seen before, so now Alice move is done. Now comes turn of Bob. So as previous it will be done. But the difference here is first Bob's turn is there. So it will be 0 and here 1. Now as this one is left, Alice can move and subtract 1. Now both 0, 0. But it was Bob's turn. He can't move. So Alice wins the game. So like this we need to check. Now let's take a bigger test case. Like some bigger numbers. Other than 1. So let's take 4, 5. In case of 4, 5 also they will have equal. So. First is Alice turn. So swap and then minus 1 so 4 4 now since both have equal and at equal it is Bob's turn definitely Alice would win and in case of 5 3 if you subtract 1 from here Then Bob can swap.
and here it starts with Alice turns so Bob will win so uh, from observing all these situations we can observe that if the sum of uh, coins in the wallet let's suppose 5 3 so 5 3 sums to 8 and 4 5 sums to 9 so if a plus b where a is alice coin and b is bob's coin so if a plus b is divisible by 2 then bob would win else alice would win and this would return our answer as alice or bob so you can check here 8 divided by 2 so it leaves remainder 0 because it is wholly divided hence in this case bob will win and in case of 9 alice will win so i hope you all understand this solution and also why this approach is taken thanks for watching